My name's Dan Helm, I'm a process engineer with Monara Resources. Uh, I've been working with Monara for about nine months at this stage. My daily role would include doing process optimizations and uh, investigations, any, any engineering things that I can help out with through the day, that's my general role. Cool. The industry in general is great to work in, there's plenty of opportunity to move around the place, uh, there's always good people to work amongst, good variety of people, there's opportunities to travel all over the world with it. Getting first job out of uni, uh, I just applied for all the graduate positions when I was still at uni with six to twelve months to go and I was lucky enough to secure one before I left uni. So that was a big relief to know eight months before finishing uni I had a job lined up waiting for me. A lot of people these days have jobs before they finish uni, the majority, and good jobs too. And also uh, employers often have graduate programs, so it's not just thrown into a job, it's here's a program we're going to develop you. Career progression has good opportunities. Uh, I'd like to get into the management business side of mining. Uh, so I've just about completed a master's in business. Uh, I've had employers support me through that along the way, uh, which is great. People, they do support further education in mining. And so I can see opportunities to move into management and that sort of thing within mining. And there's also a lot of mining suppliers that employ mining engineers. Equipment suppliers, West Track, uh, Caterpillar, it's a lot of technology involved these days that mining engineers are using for. Yeah, as a you know, geophysicist, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do. Uh, at the moment I'm in processing, so that's in preparing the data originally, but you can also go into uh, other areas where you're trying to extract useful information out of that data to try to tell you information about the rocks and things like that. You can also go into the asset teams where you're going to be interpreting the data to try to work out where, what is, you know, what's going on underneath the subsurface and what's where and all things like that. Our other geophysicists in my company are also working in other kinds of areas like uh, mergers and acquisitions and, and, and management and uh, uh, looking at health and safety type programs. So you can be a technical person but you can also go into uh, the other aspects of the company as well. So there's, yeah, there's lots, of, lots and lots of opportunities.